Next question is from Janky Garage Jim. What are some good measurable mobility goals? I like this question. And, you know, I don't know if this person has uh, Maps Prime or Prime Pro, but in Prime and Prime Pro, uh, there's test. And, and this is the best way to do mm -hmm. this is, you know, there's test and then there's exercises and mobility drills that we give people to improve the mobility of the joint where they don't have great mobility. And so the idea is that you have these, these tests that you take and you retest and you keep and you track, you check, you know, and I would, I would recommend checking back like every month to see if you're making progress and progress means being able to complete the test. Most mm -hmm. people that will take our MAPS Prime test will fail at least one, if not all three tests on there. So the goal is to be able to get to a place where you don't fail it. Or like, let's use our Prime Pro example where we have nine different tests in there that address every single joint. Some of the exercises in there, you may not even be able to perform. So making progress in that, these are great goals. Like a, <clears throat> one that's really challenging for me that Justin does really well is, what's the, what's the name, Justin, of the shoulder mobility exercise where you're really close to the wall? Wall tests. Uh, Just yeah, wall, wall circle. circles. Yeah, oh, wall, wall circles. circles. Yeah. Wall circles are really, really tough for me to complete. I can't even complete them all the way around as well as Justin does. And so when I, when I watch him do that in the video... I, and I know that I've been doing my mobility work for my shoulders. That's what I'm, I'm, my, I'm, my goal is to get to that place where I can do that as well as he does. And every time <clears throat> I go back and test, I, sometimes I take, I test and I see, I take steps back because I haven't been addressing mobility. And then sometimes I know when I've been putting the working in because I've progressed and I've gotten closer to that. Yeah. That's what I love about, you know, us having two different programs like that. So the first one, you know, just prime, it's, it's a lot more basic. It's like, uh, you know, these three movements that are very challenging. Challenging and, and there's lots of nuances that are going on uh, in the body as you're going and performing these movements. But can you control your body uh, to to get into that position for one, and then be comfortable in that position, and then now own that position by being able to uh, you know contract your muscles and be able to get out with with, with strength. And so uh, you know we highlight a lot of you know things that potentially may be pulling you out of that position or things to to really look into. To, and then that's where Prime Pro, we can get even more specific with yeah. joint by joint type of movements. Yeah, I would say, you know, remember this was a challenge for us when we created Maps Prime. It's like, how do we how do we generalize this, right? Because, yeah. uh, you know, the other question is, you know, when you ask for what are good, you know, measurable mobility goals is, well, what, what are you looking to do, right? Are you an athlete? There's mm -hmm. a different standard versus if you're just a regular person. But generally speaking, on Maps, and by the way, you can go to Maps Prime webinar.com. Uh, so mapsprimewebinar.com. Justin will take you through the three that I'm going to tell you right now. One of them is a squat. Squat is a wonderful uh, test of mobility, especially for the lower body, but it, it does use the whole body. Then there's a windmill, um, and then there's a wall test. Um, so all three of those kind of covers the whole body. So if you go on mapsprimewebinar.com, you'll follow along, and then you'll be able to see where you have your breakdown. Um, in terms of mobility. So I would say those three, generally speaking, are probably good for most people.